In 1991, Boys and the Hood unfolds a narrative, at times beautiful and at times stark, depicting life in South Central Los Angeles. Its enduring impact is evident as the 2015 film Straight Outta Compton pays homage to this classic. In a particular scene, Easy e shares with Ice Cube, I saw Boys in the Hood, it was good. Cube retorts, You ain't called that stuff an after school special. To which Easy e responds, I like after school specials, Cube, you know that. Surprisingly, this becomes the perfect icebreaker they needed. Boys in the Hood goes beyond providing Ice Cube with playful banter material. It serves as the catalyst for Cube's initiation into the world of acting. Additionally, it cements writer-director John Singleton as a cinematic voice of exceptional talent, lucidity, and insight. Remarkably, the film acts as a launchpad for the cinematic careers of most of its main cast members who, at the time, didn't boast extensive credits. Many of these performers have since soared to significant stardom. Reflecting on the cast of Boys in the Hood and their subsequent journeys is indeed a captivating exercise. And that's precisely what we're here to explore. Now, let's catch up with our favorite actors and see how life's treating them after the movie wrapped up. 1. Angela Bassett as Rava Stiles Portraying Trey's mother, Rava Devereaux, is the remarkable Angela Bassett, an actor of such distinction that a mere introduction seems unnecessary. Following her role in Boys, Bassett continued to grace the screen in significant films like 1995's Strange Days, 1995's Waiting to Exhale, and 1998's How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Additionally, she showcased her talents on television in series such as ER and American Horror Story. Similar to Lawrence Fishburne, she joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, by portraying Ramonda, the Queen Mother of Wakanda, and the mother of T'Challa and Shuri in 2018's Black Panther. In recent times, Bassett has been actively engaged as an executive producer for Fox's 911 where she also assumes the role of Athena Grant Nash. Alongside her husband, Courtney B. Vance, Bassett is involved in producing the docuseries 1,000 Years of Slavery for the Smithsonian Channel, as reported by Deadline. Beyond her notable performances, Bassett's impact extends to her advocacy for children's causes, standing as a fervent UNICEF ambassador. In 2020, she received recognition from Yale University, her alma mater, acknowledging her for inspiring an entire generation of Yale students to break down barriers and follow their dreams. 2. John Cothran as Lewis Crump John Cothran takes on a brief yet crucial character in Boys and the Hood as Lewis Crump, the college recruiter aiming to entice Ricky to his institution. His amusing response to the kids on the stoop sneering at him remains etched in memory. Following this, Cothran has made notable appearances in series such as Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Reasonable Doubts, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Eastbound and Down, and Murder in the First. Venturing beyond television, Cothran boasts an extensive filmography with credits in movies like Poetic Justice and the 2006 film Black Snake Moan. Notably, his voice acting contribution in the 2011 animated film Rango adds another dimension to his cinematic achievements. In recent times, Cothran has graced series like the scripted audio drama Bronzeville and 9011. These projects reunite him with fellow Boys and the Hood cast members. Lawrence Fishburne takes on multiple roles, including director and executive producer on Bronzeville, while Angela Bassett assumes the lead role and serves as executive producer on 911. 3. Ice Cube as Doughboy. Ice Cube penned NWA's breakout single in 1987, titled Boys in the Hood. Fast forward to 1991, and his solo album, America KKKA's Most Wanted, propelled him to stardom. Unsurprisingly, he became the natural choice for the role of Doughboy, Trey's armed best friend. 
Despite it being Cube's inaugural film performance, his compelling portrayal not only resonated, but also kick-started his enduring and prosperous acting journey. Cube proceeded to co-write and star in films like Friday, 1995, Anaconda, 1997, Barbershop, 2002, and more, all while maintaining his rap career. The 2010s marked a successful period for Cube, starring as Captain Dixon in the 2012 film reboot 21 Jump Street and making an appearance in 2014's Ride Along. He further extended his impact by stepping into the roles of director and producer for projects like The Players Club, 1998, The Friday Series, Ride Along, 2014, The Barbershop Films, and beyond. Since April 26, 1992, Ice Cube has been happily married to Kimberly Woodruff, and together they have five children. Notably, their eldest son, O'Shea Jackson Jr., born in 1991, portrayed his father in the film Straight Outta Compton. In a 2005 discussion about balancing music and parenting, Cube emphasized instilling critical thinking in his children regarding the portrayal of violence across various media forms, not limited to song lyrics. Through his son O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube also embraces the role of a grandfather. Expanding his horizons, Cube ventured into sports entrepreneurship by founding Big Three, a three-on-three -three basketball league. When not gracing the screen or overseeing Big Three, Cube remains an active touring rapper. 4. Tyra Farrell as Mrs. Baker Tyra Farrell takes on the role of Brenda Baker, the mother of Dowboy and Ricky. With a decade of acting experience under her belt before stepping into Boys in the Hood, Farrell's career saw continued growth post the film's big screen success. Notably, she graced the screen in 1992's White Men Can't Jump and reunited with much of the boys' cast in Poetic Justice. The world of television propelled Farrell to new heights in the years following Boys and the Hood. She secured leading roles in The Cape and The Corner, making appearances on shows like ER and Empire, among others. In 2000, Farrell co-starred with Condi Alexander in the HBO miniseries The Corner and made guest appearances on Soul Food, The Shield, and Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Her impressive journey continued with a 2005 Nasi P. Image Award nomination for Outstanding Actress in a Television Movie, Miniseries, or Dramatic Special for her role in the ABC television film NTSB The Crash of Flight 323. After a hiatus from acting post-2004, Farrell made a return in 2020 with a notable appearance on Netflix in A New York Christmas Wedding. Beyond her acting career, Farrell demonstrated her willingness to engage in politics, particularly within her hometown of Tallahassee. In 2015, she channeled her talents to support Roseanne Wood's candidacy for a seat on the Leon County School Board. 5. Morris Chestnut as Ricky Baker In Boys and the Hood, Morris Chestnut takes on the role of Doughboy's brother, aspiring football player Ricky Baker. Ricky's tragic fate serves as a stark reminder of the challenges in South Central. Fortunately, Chestnut's trajectory has been considerably brighter. The actor ventured into roles in films such as 1991's The Last Boy Scout and Higher Learning. Over the years, Chestnut secured roles in more prominent films, including 1995's Under Siege 2 Dark Territory, 1997's G.I. Jane, 2001's The Brothers, 2004's Breaking All the Rules, and 2004's Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid. Notably, the latter is the sequel to Anaconda, featuring Chestnut's fellow boys cast member, Ice Cube. Chestnut also graced the small screen with notable roles on TV shows like Rosewood, The Enemy Within, V, and The Resident. His lead role on Fox's Our Kind of People brought Chestnut a moment of viral fame in 2021 when a photo of him and co-star Lance Gross, elegantly dressed in tuxedos, resonated across social media. Since 1995, Chestnut has been happily married to Pam Buys Chestnut, 
and together they share two children, son Grant and daughter Paige. Raised in the Baptist Church, Chestnut practices Christianity. In March 2022, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame with the announcement made in his presence. 6. Lawrence Fishburne as Furious Styles Lawrence Fishburne had already entered the world of professional acting for many years when he took on the role of Trey's father, Furious Styles, in Boys and the Hood. Starting from his 1979 portrayal, as a slender young soldier in the iconic film Apocalypse Now, to his character, Cowboy Curtis on Pee Wee's Playhouse, Fishburne's extensive and diverse filmography speaks volumes. Post Boys and the Hood, his career continued its upward trajectory. Similar to Ice Cube, Fishburne featured in 1995's Higher Learning. Remarkable performances as Miller in 1997's Event Horizon and Morpheus in the Matrix series marked the conclusion of the century for him. In the late 2010s, he garnered attention for portraying Nelson Mandela in the 2017 miniseries Madiba and joined the MCU as Dr. Bill Foster in 2018's Ant-Man and the Wasp. Despite his various roles, contemporary audiences may most readily recognize him as Pops on the popular ABC series Blackish where he also holds the role of executive producer. In 2020, Fishburne inked a deal with CAA, one of Hollywood's most influential and storied talent agencies. Even after decades in the industry, Fishburne's career continues to ascend to new heights. Fishburne tied the knot with actress Hajna O. Moss in 1985 in New York. They share two children, son Langston, born 1987, and daughter Montana Fishburne, born 1991. Hajna and Lawrence went their separate ways through divorce in the 1990s. 7. Cuba Gooding Jr. as Trey Styles. Cuba Gooding Jr. burst onto the cinematic scene as the central character Trey Styles, the virtuous youngster in Boys and the Hood. Following this breakout performance, his career soared immediately. Gooding's portrayal of Rod Tidwell in 1996's Jerry Maguire secured him the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. In 1997, he shared the screen with Jack Nicholson and Greg Kinnear in As Good As It Gets. The year 2000 witnessed him and Robert De Niro confronting racism in the military and Men of Honor, while a notable role in 2001's Pearl Harbor marked his entry into the new millennium. Although Gooding faced some career challenges in the 2000s, with films like 2002's Snow Dogs falling short, a positive turn occurred in 2014 when he portrayed Fred Gray in Selma. This led to substantial television roles. Gooding assumed the role of O.J. Simpson in the 2016 hit series American Crime Story The People ver. O.J. Simpson and featured in American Horror Story Roanoke the same year. In recent years, Gooding's personal life has attracted more attention than his professional endeavors, with multiple women accusing him of sexual misconduct. In 1994, Gooding tied the knot with his high school sweetheart, Sarah Kapfer, and the couple has three children together, Spencer Gooding, Piper Gooding, and actor Mason Gooding. In 2014, Kapfer initiated legal separation proceedings from Gooding and he filed for divorce in January 2017. 8. Nia Long as Brandy Nia Long portrays Brandy, an aspiring young individual seeking an escape from Crenshaw. Long subsequently starred in films such as Friday, 2000's Big Mama's House, its 2006 sequel, Big Mama's House 2, and 2016's Keanu. Television has been particularly favorable to Long, with significant roles in Third Watch, House of Lies, and NCIS Los Angeles. The latter part of the 2010s marked a bustling period for Long. Notable credits during this era include substantial roles in Empire and Dear White People. Long reunited with Boys and the Hood co-star Cuba Gooding Jr. in the 2020 film Life in a Year. With that project and a role in the noteworthy 2022 Netflix movie Plus Minus, as reported by Variety, the 2020s are shaping up to be a robust decade for long.
Beyond the screen, Long has leveraged her celebrity status to make a positive impact. In 2021, she initiated a campaign in collaboration with the WNBA's New York Liberty via NY Daily News to assist NYC youth in coping with the mental challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. Long expressed her concerns, stating, As a mother of a college student and an elementary student, I've seen the effects of the isolation of the pandemic. My biggest concern for my own children was their mental wellness. We talk about mental health and mental wellness, and what can we do as parents to support our children through this? 9. Regina King as Shalika Regina King shines as a prominent star today, but during her portrayal of Shalika in Boys in the Hood, she was relatively undiscovered. At that time, King had only one credit to her name, a lead role on NBC's 2 i 27 Following the impact of Boys, her career gained momentum, although not reaching the extent of recent years. King starred in 1993's Poetic Justice and reunited with her Boys co-stars in Friday, Higher Learning, and Jerry Maguire. In the 2000s, King's career skyrocketed. Lead roles in 24, The Boondocks, Southland, and American Crime propelled her to stardom. Her status as one of today's most celebrated actors was solidified by her starring role as Angela Abar, a.k.a. Sister Knight, in HBO's acclaimed 2019 miniseries Watchmen. Additionally, her performance as Sharon Rivers in 2018's If Beale Street Could Talk earned King an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. King, who has a long-standing career as a TV director, marked her feature film directorial debut with 2020's One Night in Miami. Three decades after the release of Boys and the Hood, King continues her upward trajectory. 10. Nicole Brown as Brandy. Age. 10. Nicole Brown makes a brief appearance as young Brandy and later ventured into acting in productions such as Kids Incorporated. However, she shifted her focus towards producing. Brown began accumulating credits as a co-producer on films like 2008's Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay and Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. This marked the beginning of numerous producing credits, including 2009's Whip It, 2011's 50-50, 2011's A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas, 2013's This is the End, and 2013's Last Vegas. In 2020, Brown assumed the role of president at TriStar Pictures via Variety. Her project portfolio is extensive, diverse, and impressive, featuring works such as the Whitney Houston biopic I Want to Dance with Somebody, The Woman King, starring Viola Davis, and an adaptation of the popular musical Matilda. Brown is also a board member of Women in Film, Reflecting on her experience in 2021, Brown shared with Essence how she's relishing the opportunity to find the movies that can change, disrupt, and be noisy in culture. The young girl seen in Boys in the Hood has transformed into a formidable Hollywood figure, contributing positively to the industry. 11. Baja Jackson as Doughboy, age 10. At the age of 10, Doughboy doesn't quite resemble his adult self, but his vibrant personality is unmistakable, showing he's fearless. Baja Jackson takes on the role of young Doughboy. While this wasn't his final stint as an actor, it came pretty close. Jackson's subsequent roles were limited to three films, Three Ninjas, 1992, Poetic Justice, 1993, and Mr. Jones, 1993. Why did Baja Jackson's Hollywood journey conclude in 1993? Surprisingly, he opted to pursue an entirely different passion. Jackson has become a successful chef, going by the name, brace yourself, Chef Dao. Beyond his culinary pursuits, he is a devoted family man, cherishing his three daughters. His Instagram vividly captures his life away from the Hollywood spotlight. But beware, it's not ideal to peruse when hungry. The images showcase Jackson's culinary creations. 
featuring dishes like pork tenderloin with orange cilantro relish and jerk chicken, guaranteed to tantalize your taste buds. 12. John Singleton as Mailman John Singleton makes an uncredited appearance as a mailman in Boys and the Hood, so let's discreetly include him in this lineup. Naturally, Singleton is more widely recognized as the writer and director of the film. Considering how many careers took flight with Boys in the Hood, it's no surprise that the film served as a launchpad for Singleton's own career. He proceeded to script and direct Poetic Justice and Higher Learning, providing an explanation for why many of the aforementioned actors also featured in those movies. Singleton also helmed projects such as Four Brothers, 2005, Abduction, 2011, and episodes for series like Empire and Billions. In 2017, he co-created the crime series Snowfall, which graced the small screen. Singleton's diverse production credits extend to films like Shaft, 2000, Baby Boy, 2001, Hustle and Flow, 2005, and Black Snake Moan, 2006. As a multi-talented force, Singleton wears many hats. And it all commenced back in 1991 with a poignant coming-of-age film named Boys and the Hood. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the iconic cast of Boys and the Hood from 1991. It's incredible to see how these talented actors have evolved over the years. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more nostalgic content. And hey, if there's another cast or movie you'd like us to explore next, let us know. Your feedback is invaluable. Until then, keep watching, keep remembering, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.